think I'll go home now. Hey folks, Jesus is coming soon. And I want to tell y'all the truth about something here. I know I've said on the last couple videos that I don't ever try to offend anybody. Lord knows I don't, right? But I'm not going to tiptoe around feelings. Everything is offensive nowadays. You know, I've had people come to my videos in the past and tell me that my skin is offensive. That I'm going to be in hell because of my skin color. I've literally had this. I mean, I've laughed out loud because of it. But, you know, I don't know what the point is of these people doing this kind of stuff. I'm sure some of them are what y'all have called them trolls before. They come out from under their little bridge <clears throat> and they think that they can affect somebody with words, right? I've shared my testimony here quite a few times to try to wake people up, and I hope that it that it helped, that it worked somewhere, that it brought somebody to Christ, right? But because some of you know my testimony, you should also know that these words are not going to hurt me, right? I mean, when I was a kid and I fell and scraped my knee or something like that, I would go to my mom and have it patched up or whatnot, and, you know, my daddy would always make me laugh because he would always say the same saying. I've had worse places on my eyeballs, son. You know, and that's the way I feel about this, right? What they say to me, and I'm saying this so y'all you know, don't need to come to my defense when they, when they comment these negative things. Let them do it. Because, again, I've had worse places on my eyeballs. I mean, if we all lived the way some of these people expect us to live in this modern world in this modern Christianity, having to tiptoe on, on feelings and feel like you're walking on eggshells, then none of us will be able to speak at all. As the truth is, even Jesus is offensive to modern Christianity. Also had the comments from people saying, don't let these people affect you and all this. I don't. I speak out against it and to let people know that it doesn't affect me in my walk with Christ. Again, I've had worse places on my eyeballs. You know, growing up, I've had a few friends that were only children. And I used to watch them, and I couldn't help but laugh at times. You know, because I had two older brothers that were six and seven years older than me. And they beat the crap out of me all the time, right? I felt like I had to compete for things my whole childhood. I really did. So I always had to try to do things better than my brothers did to get noticed. But these only children that I grew up with, and I'm not saying all only children are like this, but for them to get what they wanted, they would throw themselves on the ground, cry, kick, scream. And I said, you know what? If I was doing something like that to my mom and dad, I just would have got a spanking and been told to shut up, you know? But that's exactly how some of these people remind me. They, they remind me of those only children that I grew up with that would throw themselves on the ground and kick and scream and cry to try to get their way. And I'm here like, uh-uh, I'm not gonna stop. Regardless of people come here and say, there is no rapture, or you're a liar. The rapture happens after tribulation. And all this, I don't care what they say. Let them think what they're gonna think, folks. They've been warned. They heed, the, well, they haven't heeded the warning. I shouldn't say that. But they hear the warning. They're just not listening. A lot of these same folks are making videos stocking up for themselves. I'm going to go through tribulation. Well, good luck with that. Because this country ain't going to be here. It ain't going to stay in. It's going to be destroyed. Folks, don't let this stuff get to you. Let people say whatever they want to you. And remember that saying that my daddy used to tell me. You've had worse places on your eyeballs, right? We're not in kindergarten here, folks. I'm 40 years old. I'm not going to deal with this stuff. Keep looking up, folks. I'm telling y'all, Jesus is coming so very soon. Look at those signs everywhere. I mean, how much more do people really need? That's the question. I guess they need way more. But as for us, that's uh, the few of us, we see this. And Jesus is coming soon. Romans 10, 9 through 13, I love all of you. Even the mean ones, I truly do. God bless. Okay.